Tuesday's torch has been burning bright for many years. Why is that? While giving the glory to God, it is also because of Timothy Sater. Tim has spent so much time and poured out so much of his soul into these weekly words of encouragement, instruction, love, and the good news of the gospel that he has shared. God is real. Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. He is the Savior of the world. And on a very intimate level, He is our personal Savior. These truths, among many others, permeated the words we have been blessed with each week. I will admit that I didn't always read the torch every week. I would get so caught up in living life, the hustle and bustle and the daily grind, that I regretfully haven't always taken the time. In those times, however, even if I didn't read it, I knew it was there. I knew it was a constant because no matter what, Tim is dependable and trustworthy. He would have it ready. The simple knowledge that Tim cared enough to keep it going was a beacon of hope to many. In Matthew 7, we are told that a good tree brings forth good fruit, and that by their fruits ye shall know them. We all need to live in such a way as that. Brothers and sisters, I would like to testify that Tim Sater has proved himself beyond a shadow of a doubt by a legacy of good fruits. The volumes of insight and wisdom contained in the torch would stand alone as ample evidence, but his true legacy is his love. He is a great friend. He is a great man. Ask his sweet wife, Sammy. She will testify that he is a great husband. Ask his marvelous parents. They can attest to what an amazing son he is. And for anyone who knew him in any way, thinking about him, it will bring a smile to your face. You'll have a story. There'll be something. Blessed are we who have taken this journey with him. This torch will continue to burn. Tim's torch, the Tuesday's torch, is a fire that will continue without being extinguished. It is the burning fire that was born out of the soul of a great man, Tim Sater. And blessed is the name of the Lord for inspiring him to share it with us. I feel like I can speak for us all without reservation. We love you, Tim. Your light will always shine brightly. By knowing you, we have all been able to see the Savior's love more abundantly. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me in offering up prayers on behalf of Tim and his wonderful family, his wonderful sweetheart and wife, Sammy. Thank you for sharing your Timmy with us on Tuesdays as he wrote inspired words to us. He loves you so completely, and it is truly an eternal love. Dawn, his mom, is quite possibly one of the strongest women alive and one of the most devoted mothers in history as far as I'm concerned. His father Dave, who along with Dawn, was instrumental in helping raise two of the most wonderful men. Tim and his amazing brother Joe, who has been waiting on the other side to say welcome and show him around. I have no doubt. Now this here part is important. I also have no doubt that according to the will of our Father in heaven, he could pour out the blessing of a miracle and raise Tim from the slumber that he's in and give him back to us. I do pray for that. But if this be the end of Tim's mortal ministry and journey, I submit the following scripture, and I feel that it is fittingly from the second book of Timothy, chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. The Apostle Paul writes, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. The blessing of being able to do that is available to all who love the Lord and endure to the end, having a steadfast faith in Christ. May we all continue to fight for all that is true and good and just. Be kind. Love God. Love one another. Tell your loved ones how much they mean to you and do it often. Please. 
I share these words and my testimony that God lives, he loves us, and I am thankful for all of the bounteous blessings he has bestowed upon us, of which includes our wonderful friend, family member, and brother in Christ, Tim Sater. And I do so in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.